Happy monstering, everyone! Happy monstering! Oh, what a day! Great day! What a day it is! Very Woo! excited! I'm very excited! Very excited! I have to say. Yesterday was very exciting as well. Oh, it, it's been an exciting couple of days, yeah, to, say really the to say uh, the least. You know, uh, one of our one of our users on uh, social media commented on it. It feels like everything's being tied together. It, it is. Feel, it feels like very now. Momentous. Yes, it feels like now we're finally understanding. Uh, uh, a little bit better exactly what happened in terms of the continuity and the chronology of the monster world. It's great. It's a it's great very, time. It's, it's very exciting. And uh, we're going to be celebrating with you, the community, today about the release of our brand new uh, Fire Haven in My Sing Monsters yes. version 2.2.4. Yep. But before we do, we have an exciting announcement. Monster Handler Michael. Yes. What is that announcement? Well, this happened to coincide perfectly with uh, the release of Fire Haven. So it's a double bonus day. Obviously, we have our normal giveaway that we will be doing at the end of the stream. But uh, we will also be having another bonus giveaway today. Uh, and that is because, as of today, we became a Twitch affiliate. Hey! Which is very exciting, which is very exciting. So what does that mean? It now means that you can choose to subscribe uh, to the Twitch channel. Uh, and when you subscribe to the Twitch channel, you get a bunch of little bonuses. Like you're going to get a uh, specific emote to the channel, which uh, we won't spoil yet, but will be coming in the next few days. Also, uh, as you subscribe concurrently, uh, a little badge will go next to your name that will level up, basically showing like, oh, I've been here for a subscriber for three months or six months. Oh, kind of like a status thing. Uh, mm. and then, sort of like the monikers. Yes, very similar to the monikers. monikers. Yes. Sort of a prestige, a status symbol. Mm -hmm. Yes, ah, very exactly. Neat. And um, you can also have the ability to send us cheers. What cheers are, they're just like little ways to... Uh, you know, show support for uh, different Twitch streamers. Oh, it's not like. nice. Yeah, so it's just kind of like a, you know what, I like what you're doing. Here, going to throw you these little bits. Great. Um, and, you know, maybe we'll talk about those more in the future. Uh, so, yeah, the way you subscribe is just at the top of the bar. If you do have Amazon Prime, this is the one thing that I always like to tell people. You get a free Twitch subscription with oh, that. Oh, so, the perks are endless. The perks are endless. So, you know, if you have Amazon Prime and you currently don't subscribe to anyone... Why not give it to your favorite little monster handlers over here? Uh, but yeah, so that is that, and we're going to be doing an extra giveaway. We'll probably do that halfway through the stream. Uh, we'll have on the occasion of our Twitch yes, affiliation. Yes, of course, and then of course we'll have the the regular one at the end. Oh, we didn't even say what we're giving away. <laughs> I, I I don't know what we're giving away. Well, what today, are we giving away, Michael? With it being Fire Haven, yes. we thought it was a great opportunity to give away a fire hybrid of your choice ah. so um if you are cho chosen you'll just have to whisper which uh fire hybrid you'd like and uh it'll be all yours isn't that nice it is is is, is kana eligible in this of course as well of course. strictly speaking uh kana is not a hybrid it is the okay. yes. pure single yes. element okay. fire elemental so just to, i just wanted nope. to make sure to let our users know that kana was an eligible monster for this yes. giveaway um, and uh, that should be about that. We have lovely Sydney, who was here yesterday. She's on the chat monitoring. You guys, if everyone wants to say hi, Sydney, that'd be very great. So she'll be selecting some way, someone about halfway through this. And uh, yeah, but the exciting thing as well today: so many firsts, lots of firsts happening. Whew. We are also going to be. This stream today is largely going to be playing the actual new update with you and giving you kind of like a peek behind the scenes as to why a lot of the decisions mm -hmm. And sort of a making of featurette. Yes. So uh, for those of you who are excited about the content that dropped in the Firehaven update today, you're going to want to stay tuned in because there's lots of exciting behind the scenes looks that we're going to be taking uh, at uh, the design of the island itself yep. and of the monsters and of some concept art that was related to it. So stay tuned. We've got some exciting stuff for you today. So, without much further ado, shall we? Yes, shall we let's, switch? Let's, shall we get? Switch shall we get started? Let's see the uh, the uh, the gameplay in motion. Now, this is very exciting. Hopefully, it's all going to go well. There we are. There we are. We see it. And uh, the new loading screen isn't that uh, isn't it a thing of beauty? Yes, it, it, it sort of it sort of ties nice. in thematically uh, the, those monsters that were embarking. Uh, in the caverns beneath yes. Tribal Island yep. and who uh, finally learned the secret of the long-lost element of fire. 
and you can see some of the fire hybrids peeking out yes. from behind the logo there, and as well uh, a little critter. All right, so let's let's log in. Yes. Shall we? So we're doing this right from the get go, uh, as if uh, we're unlocking it for the first time. That's right. Yes. Uh, and do do we want to say? what we're, we're playing this on specifically? Sure. Yes. Uh, today we're playing on a special version of My Singing Monsters that uh, is a developer version that is one of the tools, actually, yeah. that the monster handlers use to help repair uh, broken aspects of people's accounts and help them when they're missing their monsters and they can't find where they are. So we're actually using that tool today uh, on the computer. It's one of the tools that's available to us uh, to make life a little easier if, you ha if you're having a problem in My Singing Monsters. So... We've got our account here all set up. Uh, I've taken Beautiful. the liberty of, of progressing all the way to uh, level 9, which is the level that yes. Firehaven unlocks, alongside the plant element and Potbelly and all of those other monsters that like that. that. I've also taken the liberty of taking out a loan from the first bank of the Monster World. And as you can see, the, the totals there for our coins, our diamonds, our treats, our star power yes. is, is, is lots, uh, as well as keys and, and as all the well, good things that, that we made. just in case just in case you run into any snags today we got them all we we've got them all that's right so wow, here's our here's our lovely plant island did but you make this I, I i did but i'm not <laughs> yeah, this, i'm not this exceptionally not what, yes. proud of it this is my, not own, my own my own my own decorating this. skills uh i think far exceed yeah. this one but uh let's take an opportunity now to navigate to the brand new <gasps> Map screen, which uh, debuted today in version 2.2.4. I gotta say, um, I love it. Yes, we we feel that it's a significant improvement over the old system, just because you get a chance to have a little bit better visibility mm -hmm. for uh, which beds are occupied, um, the requirements. Yeah, it's it's the all around the navigation to the mirror carousel as well yep. is a little bit cleaner. Um, the old version, it was a little difficult sometimes to tell how to yeah. get to those mirror islands, that, yeah. so now yeah, it's sure. a little better. So uh, the important thing about Firehaven that uh, we can see revealed here, um, that we've got this tiny little indicator here, and in order to purchase Firehaven, it requires Cold Island. And mm, the reason that that, that decision that was made was just so that uh, a new user, if you were a new user, got a chance to sort of get their feet wet, or in this case, cold, with the look and feel yep. of My Singing Monsters and uh, make sure that they understand all the mechanics for the first couple of natural that islands. So, Also, I imagine uh, that would also give some time for you to earn some relics, right? Which Ex Exactly. Um, because there are a few, more than a few monsters on Firehaven who require relics in order to be purchased yep. from the market. Uh, there's a couple of opportunities there. Of course, as a recap, you can get relics from prizes in the spin wheel. You can get them as uh, prizes in the daily login bonus. And yep. as well, um, they can be random drops from monsters above level 15. And also, uh, they can be... Uh, exchanged for diamonds yes, in the, the market the, uh, diamond to uh, relic Remember so that. without much further ado let's just let's just buy cold island here to make sure that we're eligible to purchase firehaven here we go thousand coins loading this up for the first time i think it's gonna be pretty barren yes but that's cold okay. chilly yeah, yeah. if you will welcome to cold island the silent features a brand new song for you to assemble. Many of the monsters on the silent are ones you've never seen or heard before, and some are ones you've already met, but playing new musical parts. Go to the market, get some monsters, buy a breeding structure, and start building your cold island collection. That'll have to wait for another day. Yes, exactly. That'll Did have to wait for the, another day. Did you see the comet? Oh, the yes. Uh, Yule making its uh, path around yes, the Earth. Yes, of course, of course. Around the monster world, I guess. It's This is not the Earth. Uh, it's, it's probably getting close to... Uh, the, Let's just take a moment to admire cold island love love the fur there on the on the colossal's face yeah. but that's not why we're here no let's, let's get to the good stuff let's the new navigate stuff. to fire haven <gasps> here we go bye quite opposite of cold island that's right it's it just about as far away as you can get okay here we go our fire haven uh, ah! oh, a thing of beauty so gorgeous. Would you take oh. a look at that? I'm going to switch into view mode for a quick second, which, uh, for those of you who don't know, is just this little button right here in the bottom left-hand corner so we can take a look at Firehaven in its in its glory. Oh, what an island. A thing of beauty, I must tell you. This is, I think, personally, this is one of my favorite 
colossals. I just think it's very, very cool. And what makes this colossal unique, Monster oh. Handler Michael? Uh, I would say I have one guess. Yes. <laughs> one guess? One guess. And that guess, guess is? The one eye. That's right, the cycloptic eye. We haven't seen anything like that uh, in a colossal awesome. to date. Uh, something exciting that's happening here, and this is what happens <laughs> when we're using the uh, developer tool, is we've got a couple of obstacles here that are not doing what they're supposed to. So, just so that they're not an eyesore on we're this otherwise remove beautiful them. island, let's just remove these offending decorations in the first Speed place. Them up too. That's While right. While you guys do that, if you don't mind me cutting in. Absolutely. There's uh, Monster Handler Eric behind the scenes here who's helping us uh, from a technical standpoint yes. today. Uh, Using the new mic. That's right. Uh, new mic. Eric on the mic. Mic on the desk. <laughs> yep. Seems to be working perfectly. Uh, I actually had the chance to talk to a couple of artists here at Big Blue Bubble who worked on Firehaven. Yep. Specifically the design of the island and the animation of the monsters. Mm. And uh, I have some information that I think is very relevant to the Colossal. Well, we'd yes. love to hear that information now. Okay. Especially when Matt gets rid of these. Yes, uh, yes. As, well, as, as, I cl as I like clear these, of, these offending obstacles. That's right. <laughs> okay, straight from the artist who designed the island. They said, I looked at the Cyclops and used that as a unique twist to this colossal, harking back to the Greek mythology that inspired it. I wanted the island to be this big, sleeping giant that over the years, from the candles that burned on its head, it's been covered almost entirely in wax, save for its eyes, ears, and hands. Yeah. Very neat. And we can see that in the Definitely textured uh, aspect. It's almost like there's runoff here. Mm -hmm. Like like the like, surface of the, of the Colossal's head is that nice uniform waxen quality. And then we can see it sort of spilling over the edges here. But uh, it makes me wonder, at one point, did it have a higher crown? You know, did it have like a, oh. a rounded a crown that has sort of given way yeah the identity of this colossal is uh, a mystery so far just because from what we understand about what happened during the dawn of fire of the colossals were the ones who stepped in and rescued the various uh, tumbling pieces of the continent yes. the elemental lands that had been separated but uh, this colossal we've never seen or heard from before and is there a possibility that it was dwelling deep in the living core the whole time did it uh, take refuge there at the same time as this cataclysmic Who event. Knows? I'm just removing some of these obstacles. And that's... Is that the last one? That is the last one, and then we can get started. At least we got some XP. Yes. And that's uh, nice. we'll, let's, let's, let's get our goal here. So the nice thing about the goal Whew. to get Firehaven is that it, it gives you... Relics. That's right. It gives you five relics. So if, you're, if you don't have any relics, it's a nice little bump there in order to get... Uh, arguably, uh, one of the more exciting uh, monsters on Firehaven, uh, purchasable in this form for the first time, none other than the Kana. There she is. With a brand new uh, bio, so costing a, a reasonable 10 Very relics. Reasonable, especially with all the ways that you said that you can purchase yes, set fire. Yes, exactly. Monsters. So there is the Kana egg sitting in our nursery. And Which, would that be the first time that we would see Cana, or Cana egg? Uh, there are the Cana eggs in Dawn of Fire. Yes, I, I mean, I but mean this in, is in MSF. But this yes. is definitely our That's first I mean. time seeing it in, in My Singing Monsters. So, uh, something curious that people may notice about the breeding times of all the fire hybrids on uh, Firehaven exactly. is that they share the same duration of time as a certain process in Dawn of Fire. And if anyone in the chat uh, Ooh, can... Issuing a challenge. Yes, here. I'm issuing a challenge here. If anyone knows what the relationship is between the breeding and incubation times for fire monsters in My Sing Monsters and those same fire monsters in My Sing Monsters Dawn of Fire, please let us know because there is method to the madness. There is a relationship between those two values. In the meantime, we've just ticked down to 6 hours, 58 minutes, and 55 seconds. So let's speed that up using the diamonds that we have. Beautiful. And let's place our Yay. Kana right here. Looking wonderful. In the middle. Launching into its song right away. I particularly like that little shimmy so I do like that it does there at the end. That is one of the things I will say with the new island. I think that a lot of the animations of the monsters 
especially I love Shrub. Shrub does some <laughs> very great things in, in this latest uh, update. Mm-hmm. For sure. And they all, they all have almost like a faster mo- movement, I will. Well, I, I, th- found, and right? I think that that evokes uh, part of the celebratory feel exactly. of the island itself, exactly. the reunion. Uh, Eric, do we? Ha- I, I believe there's a commentary from one of our artists uh, about uh, some of the decisions that they made uh, from an animation standpoint. Uh, and while while you cue that up, I'm just going to grab our second monster, Michael. Since you mentioned that Shrub, <sighs> thank you, was your favorite. Let's drop Shrub on let's Firehaven here as well. Where is he? Where is he? You'll notice that the monsters uh, that hail from the surface of the monster world still cost their regular diamond well, that makes sense. prices, but of course are equally available to the bread. So let's drop this shrub here upon the island. Let's Look at let's him. let's put them let's put it relatively close to the cana there so that they can get along. Needs needs space to extend. Seeing That's the right. View of the animation, I have the information queued up. Do you like it now? Yes, we'd love it. Okay. I love uh, it. What the artist had to say was, I definitely wanted a celebratory feeling to come through in the animations to match exactly. the upbeat vibe of Fire Haven Song. I wanted a fresh energy to come through with these animations while still keeping faithful to the personality and habits these monsters have in Dawn of Fire. It was important to find a balance between keeping true to who these monsters are while still getting creative and adding something new to their movement. There are also some stylistic differences uh, between how monsters in Dawn of Fire are animated versus my singing monsters, so I had to stay consistent with that. One example being uh, the amount of, quote, squash and stretch. Those are technical. (laughs) Very very Uh, technical terms. In each game, which means that the Dawn of Fire monsters are much bouncier than the ones in my singing monsters. Hmm. Some interesting insights there. Thank you, Eric. I'm going to are deposit our, our breeding breed? structure. Yes. Uh, I have to make sure, though, that I have, as per usual, yes, course, leveled up these monsters. This this Kana's given name is Pyroka. Uh, any, any reasoning behind that? Oh, I think that, that must have to do with the relationship with the human world term uh, Pyro. Pyro. Uh, which is uh, fire, of course. So let's get Kana up to level four. I always, I always love seeing the... the uh, Auto names? What, what do we call Yeah, our internal term for them, the, the sort of nicknames or given names that you can give a monster are internally referred to as auto names. Yes. But uh, it's the name that appears when you select a monster right above their level bar and their happiness bar there. So let's put Willow, the shrub. Willow and Pyroka. Willow and Pyroka. What are, we, what are we hoping to get here? Swing big. Let's take a look. Something I'll do before we actually begin our breed yeah. is upgrade our breeding structure to the enhanced breeding structure, mm, smart move. which cuts breeding times by 25%. So let's queue up. We only have two options right now. Now, something interesting sense. and unique about the breeding uh, chances for Firehaven is the fact that because of their prolonged separation from monsters from the surface, breeding fire monsters is a little bit more difficult than, say, breeding your average double or triple element monster that you'd get using the five natural elements from the surface. So um, you will have to be patient. The fortunate thing, of course, is that uh, breeding, as always, is a free mechanic, so you can try as many times as you want. And all of the monsters that are available on Firehaven are available for all time. Yes, and that was definitely something that we had heard, you know, with uh, with uh, right. Uh, yes, as some design. Celestial being exactly. similar to to Wublin, and, and people really wanted to get back to uh, have another island that was the meat and potatoes, yes, if you, you know, will, the of thing my that they fell in monsters. love with. Exactly. Right. This uh, this timeless mechanic and a all perfect right. opportunity to bring it back with right. another. So let's so let's just uh, in the interests of. Uh, uh, getting a little bit XP because, of course, with every monster duplicate that you get, it's always valuable to place them to earn yes. that XP. We now have our uh, Pyroka Kena, and who is this? Volka. Volka, Volka like and Pyroka. Volcano? Ah, could be. Very fun. Uh, another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase a few wishing torches, mm-hmm. which for this island have a brand new. 
uh, look, one that matches the uh, the color Fire palette Lee. and the aesthetic of yeah, Firehaven. I'm just going to drop a couple. I believe if I grab this guy, I can buy a few more so and convenient. place them around, which will uh, boost my chances of getting one of those coveted fire hybrids that I'm after. Now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, breeding a shrub and a cana together will yield us, that's a combination of earth, plant, and uh, fire. And fire, I believe, will we'll be looking as an outcome for the repetillo. Repetillo. Um, something that we wanted to do on the stream today uh, as well is just clarify uh, the pronunciation names, of various of fire monsters' names uh, that appear. So, as you said, Repetillo. So, of course, we have Tweedle. Everyone knows Tweedle. Potbelly. Easy, easy. Pretty boring. Somebody Not did boring, ask. A, easy. Somebody did ask about Noggin the other day in the chat. So, yes, obviously Noggin. Noggin, like like the uh, like the English word. That's right. Your Noggin. The Nogan. Nogan. See, Noggin. maybe that, maybe that's maybe where. that's it's easy. Exactly. It's easy to mess up. I, so I then I'm glad that we're out. actually doing this segment yeah. so that we can go through. So Noggin. Here we have Kana, the Dandy Do, of course, Cybop, Glowl, like, glowl, like owl, an owl, like a glowing owl, Glowl, Shrub, of shrub. course. Shrub. Here we have Flawa. Not Floa. No, it's flower, like a, a flower. flower. Yes, very good. And the sunflower. Stog, so I love stog. Stog rhymes with dog, which also comes through in a little bit of its personality as well. Very dog-like. There's very Reedling, cute. Barb, Flugel, Flugel Reptillo, and the coveted quad element monster, Tring. Tring. Now, Tring, specifically, you know what? I loaded this account up with some relics, so, so you're let's, just gonna let's get splurge. It? Let's get Tring. Let's get the big boy. Here we go. <gasps> yes. Oh. So something that... Here we go. Let's let's speed, speed that up. up. Right now. That's why we have the diamonds. That's why we took out the loan with you got the, it. the monster. But friend. something that is going to happen here when we attempt to place the castle does not have enough beds. I was going to say that. Before you went in here, I was like, you know what you should be doing? You know what you I should, should be, be doing? I should be upgrading that castle. But let's do that now. The chat was also on top of that for the record. They... <laughs> they, they knew they, they they went wait a minute he's got two single this is not monsters gonna work. on there he's got a shrub that basic castle will not be enough to support adding more so let's while we're at it just grab a few more Whoop. we Whoa. unlock Wubblin Island well yes. let's go to Wubblin Island just... <laughs> look at all these nice things so the nice thing about Firehaven mm -hmm. is if I'm not mistaken uh, the monsters that you breed on Firehaven are also eligible to be zapped to either Wublin or Celestial Island That's to uh, fill up the inventories of your inactive or dormant Celestials, as the case may be. What so, a kind way. It, it, it is nice, isn't it? So, as a reminder, Firehaven uh, is now the ninth island to exist inside the prime reality which we talked about the other day. that that's right so we've got the five natural islands we've got Wublin island we've got celestial island tribal and now fire haven is the ninth that exists inside which that ethereal prime doesn't reality. that's exist right in the prime ethereal is in its, uh, its own pocket dimension gold on another plane of uh, ex uh another plane yeah. of reality another plane of existence there's sugarbush island and composer island on the scene yep. and the mirror islands which uh, we might save for a discussion on Maybe on Friday, Friday but that uh, occupy an alternate timeline <gasps> to the monster. Womp, womp. Okay, let's speed up this castle upgrade. Oh, we're unlocking stuff left, right, and center here. Time Ooh, the machine. time machine. That's nice because I do want to place a time machine right. on Firehaven. You wanted to play with the... That's right. I want to play with the warp oh, functionality. I think, I think I might know why you... So, let's place our train, our glorious Make train. him go the other way, other way. All right, you want, want him flipped? Yeah. Is that for aesthetic like, purposes? Yes. You want I'm, a little bit of symmetry there, I'm, huh? I'm a big symmetry. Okay, now well, let's, let's collect. Earning them coins. Let's, let's collect that. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, nice. Four and relics. And four relics. Very which, nice. is, which is always a nice incentive. Do you mind zooming in on train when you have a train? I would yes. love to zoom in let's on train. Take a look. 
Enhance. Take a look at that glorious quad element monster. Let me tell you a little something about Tring's animation now. Uh, We'd love to hear what it. What an artist told me was, if you look closely, Tring's, bla tr oh, sorry, Tring's back crystals glow and his triangle shines now when he hits a note. A lot of fans found his actions hard to read in Dawn of Fire since his instrument is so tiny, so we decided to add a couple more tells for when he's playing to make it read more clearly. So hopefully the Tring fans are happy now. As a, as a Tring fan myself, I do like the nice Do you Tring. admire Tring because it's obvious that this monster lifts he's, just like you he's do, a Michael? Lifter. He's a lifter. He's a big gym, gym boy. <laughs> let's, let's, this is Tarid. Oh, Tarid the Tring. So, Tarid. Let's, let's. Is Tarid some sort of gem? Let's, I'm, I'm not sure. I believe it was Sydney who selected the uh, nicknames, the auto names for the or is it direct for the train <laughs> oh look at that lovely nice and huge level he 10 let's collect that goal while we're at it to get one monster to level 10 looking great okay so as i mentioned let's let's light these wishing torches um I'm just doing yeah no let's do permanent you think permanent i want to go permanent. I, all right let's why not <laughs> Why not? We have the investment. We have Why the investment. Yeah, yeah, but we've got to make sure this is a loan. We'll have to repay, repay at some this point. This is true. To the first bank of the monster world. But in the meantime, let's just get a couple of those wishing torches lit. And let's go back and retry that combination and see how we fare. So we're going for Willow and Pyroka again? That's right. Okay. Trying, trying to, to get go. the Repetoa. That's correct. Oh, another Kana. That's Something I'm going to do before I transfer it. I'm going to hit wait and I'm going to perform... The same upgrade to the breeding structure as here on oh, the nursery. Whoops. That, hit, that hit is, buy egg instead. <laughs> that was not what you meant. But do. you know what? While we're here, well, let's, we're here let's, 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 get, let's get somebody else. The uh, chat has a request. Yes, oh, who? We're listening. Uh, Sydney has said the chat has spoken and they would like to see a dandy do. All right. That sounds great. Now, dandy do is singing. A Dandy new part, a new part for Dandy Doo, but a familiar sounding part for those uh, well versed in uh, Monster World music. Let's plop this Dandy Doo down. Let's see what this Dandy Doo is named. This is Plutter. Plutter. Very cute. Let's get Plutter up to level four. Let's get Plutter up to level ten, so that it can be, be a companion cool. for, for so it can be a companion for our Tring there for there Terran. We go. Can we, while we're at it, can we bigify train? You'd like to bigify I, I train? Wanna, I want to bigify train. Okay, this is going to be one gigantic monster. Permanent. Permanent. Here we go. Let's see him. Go! Holy camoly. <laughs> Would you look at that sense of scale? That is one <laughs> monster. You have to be careful. Look at those other monsters. They're dwarfed by comparison so, to the size of that. So what would you train. say? How big are we dealing with a, a monster? Oh, a bigified quad element monster is... Because uh, um, I remember... It's like I a prehistoric thinking. mammal. It's like the megafauna of Earth's history. That's, that's <laughs> I don't know, th 30 feet at the shoulder. It's absolutely ginormous. I uh, did not speak to any artists about bigified train, but I wish I had now. I see it. <laughs> Take a look at that guy. All right. Oh. You let can, me. Oh, he's so great. Let me upgrade the nursery this here. This is what we meant to do earlier. And that's right. And reattempt. Right, See, let's pop. Tring got swole. That's what he did. You bet he did. It did. We're we're so bad on the stream here of making sure that we refer to monsters as it. But I think colloquially it's 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 yes. fine. But of course, the official stance on all monsters is that they are genderless. Yes. They don't have a he or a she that pertains nope. to them, despite some of them having more traditionally masculine or traditionally uh, yep. feminine characteristics. So let's hatch yet another Kana. Let's what what Kana's name Kana will Cove this be? Right there. That's Kana Cove. I love that. This is Chanda. 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 All right. Let's try for Repetillo again. And then once we have Repetillo, a Repetillo, Repetillo, you must feed that monster to at least level four to breed it. Ooh. Oh, I think I accidentally. Excuse me. I had All right. Here we go. We're going to retry. Willow and Pyroka, come on, I feel, come I feel on. Like no, no, another Kana. That's fine. The great thing about these monsters, though, yes. is that they'll continue to earn you coins. Yes. There's never... As, as many as you want. Oh, now we have a, now we have a Kana Quartet. A quartet which, which, which Kana is this? Infernia. Infernia. Like Inferno? You got it. 
experience. All right, let's try. Come right on, Reptilo. Cross your fingers for us, everybody, in the my chat. Toes. toes cross. Oh, it, this is a shrub. I was going to say, not, say, not a shrub. We don't want the shrub. You don't want the shrub? You want shrub? I mean, he can, he can hang out The great shrub. thing about shrub's animation on Firehaven is that I really think that you get a sense of how excited oh, Did you see him? This he just did it. He just did his, did his full extension. <laughs> Even that's challenge. not a full extension. No, there's, I, still, there's still quite a bit of bend to those knees. He doesn't want to, you know, I can't imagine. How Let's see how we're doing in the Book of Monsters here. Our collection is growing. <gasps> Here we go. We have four out of the 15 available monsters. For on, a second there. On fire. Yeah. I thought Dandy Doo had a bow tie. Oh, because From of Glowl's uh, tail feathers there? Yeah. That'd be pretty cute. A fancy Dandy Doo. A, a Dandy Doo in a bow tie would be a great thing to uh, submit in using hashtag yes, MyStreamingMonsters. My uh, perhaps it could be using even uh, some of the tail feathers of a Glowl yeah. as, as that Dandy Doo. Uh, bow tie. But the important thing, of course, to remember is that the uh, tail feathers of a glowl are highly prized as torches that never go out, and they and they very seldom uh, molt. Like they very torch. seldom shed their feathers. So, hey guys, important. we have another request from the chat. All right, we're listening. <gasps> what do they want? They'd like to see more bigified monsters. Oh, oh my yes. goodness! I think shrub, shrub, shrub. shrub. That was, I was going right, to ask you, see. can we bigify shrub? <laughs> all right, I'm going to. I'm first of all. I'm going to pop up, our up. willow shrub up to level 10. and uh, Permanent. Bigify. All right. Here we go. When this you, is also going to be you go this is also gonna be a big dancer. Look at that guy. How tall is a shrub? Like, at, at full extension? At full extension, the, the range. <sighs> it, looks, it looks like it's reaching just about the, the topmost height of the tring there. We can actually get this tring even bigger if we want to. Let's get this string up to level 15. Watch this. In fact, we do want to because hashtag uh, tring get swole is a thing now. Hashtag tring get swole. Tring get swole. You know, maybe maybe that's a good tring lifting some weights. Let's pop this monster. Oh, I don't even... <laughs> I, I gave myself say, far, I too, say, don't, don't. far too many treats. I was thinking about that as you started... Uh, as I started climbing all the way up there. Yeah, so they, at least we got to level 19. We don't quite have that... Uh, special glow effect that appears on all monsters that, that achieve a uh, level 20 but we'll have to save that for another time so our fire haven is in is in pretty decent shape here uh shall we try and get our reptile before we move on to take a look uh, another sure. closer look at the summer some of the uh other features of, of fire haven come on come on no oh, kana what I was going to say is maybe we could take a look at some of the concept art that we have for Firehaven, Firehaven itself. itself. That's a great idea because uh, as with all of the uh, islands that are a part of the world of my singing monsters, uh, they undergo lots of creative transformation right up until they're released. It takes a lot of time to approve and agree and make sure that we know what we're, uh, shrub. That we're doing. Another shrub. Should have adapted to Wubblin. This is that this is that difficulty that I was mentioning earlier. It's a little harder to get these fire element hybrids than than your run of the mill natural monsters, but the payoff is worth it because fire monsters in my singing monsters for the first time we had Kana was alone for so long and now we finally have the return of the fire element. It's a nice time, I will say. It's a glorious time to be alive. So while I continue to do this, um, Eric, say, would Eric you like probably, to yeah, transition the... uh, to our look and feel for? Oh, right. I have to. I, okay. So then I'll take a quick break from that while we take a look at some of the uh, art and we can discuss it. Once, once he's on the art, though, you can continue to. Well, that's a good point. Thing. That's a very right. good point. So. so let's take a look at these early concept illustrations for... Fire Haven. So, um, every island uh, begins uh, as a as a pencil sketch. As, as most art, right? As, as a drawing, just to sort of lay down some of the basic ideas that we'd like to uh, to achieve. Yeah, quick little uh, mock up. You know, see so what the feeling is. So the one that's depicted here is, is uh, at least as on the on the left. Um, Pretty similar, I'd say, to the final design. There's we definitely have, a lot of similarities. We have that cycloptic eye. We've got those those massive fingers reaching up to uh, to clasp the face. We got the candles. We got the wax. Colossal, that's right. 
those those mountains. And even the the camp. color palette is kind of similar now. There, I think there are some changes that go through there. Yep, and on the right you can see that um, we're sort of starting to experiment with, with the idea of that sort of golden wax the glow. Uh, palette. That's right, the glow, almost as if the the light is emanating from inside the wax itself. But notably, you can see that we still have uh, a ground uh, there on that island that is a little too similar. We felt to the Earth Island. That makes sense. Ground. And this one, this one I find, uh, as the pictures attached to it uh, definitely show, it definitely you get much more of a volcanic uh, feel, mm -hmm. I feel like, to this one. Certainly. If, if we I could... can jump in here with a little bit of uh, notes on the inspiration behind the island. Yes, Canada, please. Which you'll see in the, uh, the upcoming ones that are about to be changed to. Uh, the artist behind the island said, my main inspiration for Firehaven were hardened amber and gold melted masses of candle wax built up over years of burning candles on top of each other. Most notably, we really wanted to step away from literal fire or lava and try something new and exciting to depict this element. I wanted to show this island's age, that although it's never been seen before, it's been there for a very long time, wax building on layer upon layer. What you'll see in uh, further images that are coming up, I wanted it to be creepy yet pretty, and I also studied how light looks when it shines through your fingers and skin, making them glow for the island's ears and eye. Very neat. This island has been that. hidden away for a long time, so I wanted to show that with drawing inspiration from ancient history. Very cool, and this certainly connects. If, if My Sing Monsters took history classes, which I don't believe that they do, this would certainly be included as a remnant of uh, certainly the golden age of the monster civilization yes. back during the era of the dawn of fire. I think Eric's going to show us the, that next one. All right. Just relinquish. I will relinquish control. Let's take a look at some more concepts. So, as you can see here on the left, um, we're returning to the idea of having the two I was eyes. Gonna say, that left one looks much more uh, like similar to like classic, like, like a traditional uh, island. Was... Yeah, you can see that we're st starting to sketch uh, some of the ideas for the obstacles. Yep. Uh, on on that version, but uh, that that color configuration wasn't necessarily working for us. So um, then we sort of flipped the opposite direction from dark all the way to light, and you can see that sort of golden blue mm -hmm. uh, variant there on the right. Again, sort of similar looking to that first uh, pencil sketch that we saw, but um, ultimately uh, we wanted to make sure that the island uh, itself of Firehaven was situated inside. The volcano inside the living core of the monster world so we wanted to make sure to depict um what that might look yeah. and feel like with the with the background and with sort of the lighting effects mm -hmm. that are produced and i definitely think the uh the shift over to the the lighter brighter colors there definitely uh evokes the the celebration as we talked about earlier of like this is a this is a in all in all serious this is a very big time and moment in the, the monster world right so like, you betcha really celebrating uh this development is, is a great thing mm -hmm. we have more concepts there Eric? aha there, there it is uh again very dark there on on the left version a, a little a little too close uh to earth island for, for yeah. my liking but but definitely um, still strongly inspired by the idea of those configurations of candles in the back forming yeah. the, the traditional spot of the horns of the Colossal. So uh, then on the right there, we, we start to see that final look and feel. Yes, that uh, is much feel, more much similar closer. to, to what, what we were going to end up with ultimately. And originally we had uh, those, those three sort of main uh, platforms at the back uh, having a lit candle yes, I do upon remember that. them. But then, of course, because these are areas where you can place it would objects, be a little the, the middle platform, weird, of course, yes. occupied by the island's castle, that uh, we didn't want to have any uh, fire extinguisher No, exactly. Uh, that was going to cause a whole, events. whole yes. issue. <laughs> Despite the fact that it is fire haven, things are still flammable, so you have to be careful, especially those aspects of the island that are uh, carried over from the monster, uh, the surface of the monster world. Yes. Exactly. Another thing that we wanted to mention that uh, we've already received uh, lots of comments about in the community yes. is the critter of Firehaven itself. So, uh, Eric, if you could transition to that. Maybe if we transition to the actual critter first. Oh, sure. The gameplay, we can take why don't we? Why don't we? Why don't we try and spot it? Go, go ahead there. Uh -huh. So we're back. So 
Uh, I'm, I'm happy to report that uh, while we were discussing, I did manage to breed what I think... You think? ...is a repetillo. You think or you know? <gasps> Look! <gasps> that egg, unmistakably... Repetillo. So, let's add Repetillo Oh, I thought you were going to our... zap to Wubble and Island. Oh, forget it. Look at him! Our many appendages. That's right. Boy. The Repetillo, of course, a, a portmanteau, or fusing of two words between reptile and armadillo. armadillo. In See, fact, I... Hard shell. That's right, and I think Armadizzard was one of the uh, proposed names, but I, I like think that. I like Repetillo. I like Repetillo, but Armadizzard... It sounds like it sounds like at that point you're saying like a, almost like a statement like I'm a dizzard. I'm a dizzard. I'm a dizzard. <laughs> I have two quick notes here. If that's all right with you. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, sure. please. So firstly, just noticing how nice the animation is on Repetillo, I thought I'd bring up another quick note on animation. That's a great idea. Uh, regarding the monster's personalities when animating, uh, the artist had to say a surprising amount of personality can come through in just the eyes. So I take extra care to ensure they're guiding the body's movements and complementing their actions. Also, the pacing in their movement and determining what body part leads in action can say a lot about their weight and energy. And then the second note I have is, big fire. it. <laughs> big up, buy it, big up, buy a very, it. A very popular request. I will say I love the part very of, nice. uh, can you get in close on that repetition? Repetil I love when it closes his eyes and just does like the little smirk almost of like the, I think it's very proud of its performance. Yes, and know? there's a lot of skill required. I mean, like, we, we how many limbs have we got operating here at any Fair. given time? We've got ten. Four feet, six arms. I believe that was oh, one that of was my question trivia yesterday. questions. One of the other. Yes. How timely. Let's collect this goal, and let's try and find one of the critters. Aha! There Of is. Firehaven. Very cute. Very nice. Let's take a look. Oh, we're going to have to try and follow... This little guy, Going oh, on a as cool it as it's, oh, disappearing, Woo! disappearing behind the back of the Firehaven colossal head. Oh, and another. So yes, as we were saying, uh, there is some uh, influences behind. That's right, some real, real world inspiration behind the critter for Firehaven. Uh, perhaps now is as good a time as any to yeah. to take a look at what inspired that critter. Yeah, it was a de directly like an artist uh, inspiration once again. That's know, right, like Eric. Would you like to are... share that that commentary from the artist at this time about this uh, very very cute little critter? Very cute. I certainly would. Uh, it's a very it's a very personal motivation on this one. The artist said, "When I was creating the island, I knew this was an excuse for me to make a really cute little critter based on my favorite real world critters, the Honduran white bat. They make their homes in the real world in little groups." hanging upside down in huge leaves for shelter. They look like little cotton balls and aren't much bigger. In the monster's world, I like to think this little guy bundles up with its friends during the day and roosts in the colossal's ears, singing to it to lull it to sleep. Very cute. And I definitely, I feel like the when you see this and then you see the critter, you definitely can see. See the inspiration, yeah. I believe in the real world, the Honduran white bat uses that special leaf shape to its nose. Uh, to aid in echolocation. Oh. And so um, this would not surprise me if our version of uh, the Honduran white bat, the Firehaven critter, mm -hmm. uh, also uses it because, uh, as we've established over the last couple of days, the cave network that exists uh, beneath the surface of the monster world is pretty elaborate. Yes. Pretty... And, and we did see uh, our little critter in the... That, That's right, that passed through. So it could be that they are migratory uh, inside of the... Uh, Cave network. Inside of the cave network, and then they come back to roost in Firehaven. So very cute. Um, I don't think we've given this little critter an official name. Um, I don't think if we've given too many of our critters official names, but if you have any ideas of what to name this little yeah. uh, critter, uh, or at least as a nickname, uh, please feel free to send it to us, a comment in the chat, or uh, send it to us via any of our uh, social media channels. Uh, that's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And let us know what you would call this tiny firehaven critter using hashtag my streaming monsters. My streaming monsters. Um, did you wanna? Did you wanna add, a, add another monster to the? Uh, to the island? Yes. Let's uh, let's let's grab. I believe the chat was asking for flower. Flower. That perfect. I can do. So you know what we can do? How about we get flower? Yep. 
And then uh, I know we do have some concept art. So afterwards, uh, once we've added them to the thing, bigified them because I'm requesting a bigification. Um, You're never satisfied, Mike. Never guy. satisfied. Um, I think, Eric, if you could switch over to, uh, to the gameplay so that the lovely audience can see our bigification process. All so. right. Now let's grab a flower from the market. There it is. Every rose has its thorns, but hey, you'll hey, find hey, that the flower hey. tends to be a little more thorn than rose. This burly beast may seem like a curmudgeon, but beneath its prickly exterior lies a soul that's sweeter than honeysuckle. Sweeter than honeysuckle. Very cute. All right, let's place a flower. Oh. There's our egg. Let's a speed nice up incubation. It's Boom. ready to be placed. The castle does not have oh, enough no, beds. Oh no, the castle! All right, so moving up from the you comfortable, hardly see it with that the train. comfortable castle. That's right. The train is sort How of would the blocking train fit the in view. There? You, you would not believe the amazing technologies of the castle. I always imagine. Whoops! I accidentally whew, look the warm-up pack. A great deal. A, 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 probably the best that the Monster World has to offer. To be honest with you, I've always thought of the the castle as um, being almost. Harry Potter, like, you know when they go into the, like, the tent, tent during but it's the events the giant of, thing. I've of always, Deathly Hallows? I've always viewed a lot of the, the buildings as being similar to that. Well, there's like, a great deal of magic uh, exactly. at play during any given moment in the monster world, so. Ah, this is a guest account prompting me to secure it. Always a wise thing to do for those players who do use yes. a guest account, because that uh, certainly makes it a lot easier for the monster handlers to recover your progress. Definitely if for whatever reason easier. you become separated from your beloved monsters... It happens. It, it happens. happens to the best of us. That's right. It can be by accident or, you know, some other misfortune. But let's you place this so small. flower. Uh, monster handlers actually have a suggestion for that right. flower. Yep. Okay. Get that flower swole. <laughs> all the way up. Yeah. Hey, uh, it's well, Samson. All the way. Well, Samson. We... Samson the flower. Perhaps a reference to its great strength. Oh. Now, you're, don't go crazy because you're not going to be able go, to... I'm just going to go up to... 15. I just don't want you to... Whoop. There we go. I just ran out of I'm just going to go to 15 and you almost I, spend all There we go. Food. All right. Let's get bigify. We're not made of going. food. Whoa. <laughs> I like... That was perfect. As it's he went big, he went... <laughs> yes, he did a flex there. Weird flex, but okay. I don't think I'm using that meme correctly. What? Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I think no. it's a great flex. Yeah. So there it is. There's Samson the flower... Doing its groove. He, he's, he's definitely hidden the shrub behind him. Yeah, so just before we uh, move over and take a look at some of the concept art for these monsters, let's grab, like I promised earlier, the time machine. While you grab this, I actually have one note about Flower. Did oh, you know, please. Did you know where he gets his power from? Uh, is this going to be a joke? I think this yes, is all right, where? where? Uh, Swola power. Swole oh! power. That's very good. Is that a, is that an Eric original, or did you pull that from the chat there, Eric? Uh, I've been working on that for about four months. Wow. Well, a good execution. You find this was a great opportunity for you to debut that uh, that joke. So, let's go in and let's warp this island. Let's take it down a notch because, as we mentioned, this is a very exciting island from a musical standpoint. That's a very high energy song. So let's see what happens when relax. we just drop it down. There. And let's let's confirm that. Now we've got look oh flowers being a little bit more deliberate in its mm -hmm. stomps, a little bit slower. Repetillo's uh, rhythms become a little bit slower. Let's collect from these. Oops, collect from these canas. Well, we have the opportunity, of course. That's right. We got to sneak in behind flower there. Uh oh. Oh, oh yeah. And uh, let's see what happens when we make this island even more exciting. Yes, I think when you when you go here we go. Wild, this is gonna go gonna crazy. Be... I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna crank it all the way. Here we go. Watch this. <laughs> First of all, shrub, shrub is really gets, going for it. Gets much more uh, sinister looking. <laughs> must say. Well, he, it's really going for it. He looks like he's truly lost. That's his one marbles. thing. Look at the swinging arms there of the flower. Really, really. Uh, Really, you're, really you're committing, the... really committing to the part there, and and uh, Repetillo when it when it gets going is uh, is, is very uh, fast itself. All right, so 
I'd say that our our fire haven is in excellent shape here. Perhaps we can revisit it a little later in the stream. Yeah. But for now, I would love to take a look at some of the concept art for the fire monsters that Show appear on fire haven. Flower. All right. He's so let's debut with flower because it was the most recent monster that we that we added. So here you can see a couple of the uh, pieces of art uh, of flower that uh, that hail, of course, originally from Dawn of Fire. Uh, you can see that uh, the young version of Flower there uh, has some pretty wrinkly bottoms of its feet. He very, looks much more um, very cute, much more planty, I would say, there in that uh, drawing. Oh, for sure, sort of uh, borrowing from. Um, sorry, which one are you referring? I'm to? I'm talking about the uh, upper right. Uh, oh yes, his legs definitely look much more. Mm -hmm. Organic, and I and I think that the, obviously you can see we're playing with the idea here of maybe putting a flower pot mm -hmm. as sort of a loincloth situation there, um, but eventually I think we decided to move away from that option uh, just to make sure uh, that there was some uh, distinction between the pot belly and the and flower. flower. Right, exactly. We didn't want to reuse the the. Uh the pot. Let's take a look. Oh, I, I did it myself, Eric. How do you like that? I've, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting more autonomy every day. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'll be unstoppable. It's Matnet. All right, Matt, here, right. here's here's Glowl. And uh, Glowl was one of the first monsters uh, that uh, was... Scowl. That's right. At this point, this is a Scorch Owl. We hadn't yet uh, finalized the name Glowl, but but scowl we thought sounded a little bit too negative because of course the expression I mean, that a face can have yes scowling uh, we wanted to make sure that it didn't have a negative connotation so uh, as I was saying the glowl is one of the first monsters that uh, started to be sketched up we knew we wanted to sort of play with the idea of a phoenix of a fire well that bird. makes sense fire phoenix yeah yes exactly these these things are are tied close together but. Um, as we continue to iterate on the design, you can see that the uh, it ended up sort of starting to resemble more of an owl than necessarily a crow or the, the versions that you see in the upper left corner there. And so that, of course, gave rise to the glowl and scowl names. And uh, the coloration you can see there on those sketches are pretty close to the final one, yeah. but I do like um, the, I like the, the purpley and, and, and pink yeah, yeah uh, primary feathers there on the adult. Uh, Glowl. Very, very imposing. Very impressive. All right, let's see this what's next. Next one, we have uh, something that we showed uh, That's, I think two weeks ago, yes, a week or two ago. As, a, as our throwback Thursday uh, yes. concept art post. But here's, Hinting towards what uh, was to come. That's right. Um, it's, always, it's always worthwhile to see what's going on on social because yes. there are oftentimes uh, clues tucked in that let you know a little bit ahead of time what sort of tricks we might have up our sleeves. Yes, definitely. So here's Kana back when it was Kano. Yes. And uh, we wanted to make sure when we were designing, because this was going to be a big deal, right? Adding a new single element monster, a, to new, a new base elemental to the game, that it was a little bit different than uh, people were used to. And we thought that uh, fire... Uh, was an element that was typically associated with more masculine ideas. So we said, forget that. We've got divert expectations. Mammoth. Exactly. We've got we've got mammoth, which is sort of masculine. Toad jammer, masculine. Pot belly, masculine. Noggin can be either or, right? It doesn't have a, a vocal part. But then Tweedle was the only feminine sounding so you want to single element. Even the scale. Exactly. You wanted to make sure that we had some a little bit more equal representation there. So. Uh, we we're really proud of the final product that we that we created, the Kana, a very strong uh, girl power sort of symbol. I think the fact that that fire can be uh, so feisty and so powerful and, and and so independent. I do I do think it's interesting that the original design that uh, it seems to be that was played around with was a much more like tree bark like s. That's how it looks like to me. Mm -hmm. right? The like, texture there uh, certainly. Uh, the color of it sort of looks more like it's a volcano sitting inside of a tree. Mm -hmm. I do like the sort of scale quality that we ended up yeah. with for, for Kana's arms and legs. Let's take another look 
at uh, our next monster. Aha! The Repetillo. The, right. the one on the right, I must say. The long skinny one the with the ears? The long skinny one. He, he reminds me almost like uh, of an ancestor of Shub or something with the extension. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> very, very. A long leggedy beastie. The, see, uh, you can see here that uh, in this early concept art, um, this is for the young Repetillo. Mm -hmm. And uh, surprisingly, through, through some uh, miracle of evolution, uh, as it uh, evolves into its adult form, it actually gains an extra set of arms uh, in order to play even more intricately syncopated rhythms upon its tummy in its adult form. I will say it's very interesting looking at the one on the left. There you definitely get that more arm a lizard uh, feel. Yes, than the especially with those with those ears, very very marsupial looking as well, yes. almost like a kangaroo, and much more snout um, like. Indeed, you know. let's and do the, yeah, let's Stog. take a look. So here's Stog, very cute. Uh, He's but, always but, been cute. Yes, but but uh, notably absent in that middle drawing are the nostrils, and Stog is an interesting monster because of course it uh, has four nostrils instead of the standard two that a human world dog the better to smell you with might have the expression on that one on the, <laughs> on <laughs> the, the right, on the right? Is, is pretty special uh monster handler sydney uh, referred to it earlier as quite the spicy look on its face there <laughs> and uh spicy boy that's right and we've got uh purple sort of prisms there on its back but i but i quite like the uh stegosaurus inspired of course uh, you do crystals that ended up uh appearing there. So when we were deciding that Dawn of Fire was going to be a prequel to My Singing Monsters, we wanted to make sure that we incorporated at least one dinosaurian Prehistoric. Style. Exactly. Some, yes. A dinosaur style. Because we already had, of course, T-Rox in the first game, mm -hmm. um, which didn't launch with Dawn of Fire. It came in a subsequent update. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to make sure that from an imagery standpoint that we, that we had a prehistoric looking monster like the Stog there available and that would be one of the first monsters that you got in the game. That makes sense. Let's see. Uh oh. Here he comes. The boy. Wow, wow. Would you take a look at those trings. The uh they were commenting before uh we went live when we were preparing some of these and looking at the stuff Sydney had assembled. The nose, the schnoz on the I believe it is the middle right. Yes. Something else just uh, whew, really draws you in there. Yes, that's that's quite the proboscis. It reminds me of a proboscis monkey from the Monster World. I don't know if you've ever seen those, but they have quite the schnozzes themselves. The uh, I also find it interesting that the one beside him, I think that it almost looks like a chicken, like a, a oh, like a beak. beak there. Yes, I the, think that the sort of more pig piggy like nose that there was the <laughs> final design that was approved was the correct choice. But uh, let us know which of these noses is your favorite in the chat. Um, I, I think we made the right decision. Yeah, I think, I think he looks great. And we got Barb. Barb. So all of these different variations of Barb um, have sort of subtle uh, nuanced differences, but all of them have something a little different going on. We knew that we liked that basic shape mm -hmm. for... Uh, the barb youngster that appears on the continent, but exactly how its uh, its flowers yeah. would and, and its colorful bits would manifest was was something we had lots of options. Exactly. There. We had like ten to choose from. Lots to pull from in terms of cactuses. Exactly, right? or cacti. Cacti, if you will, like the yes, plural cactuses. form Ugh. of cacti. Scold me. And I remember, grammar is and I remember courses. really fighting. For this monster to be really? called Barb. What was the other uh, running? There were there were there were a few other um, running mates beside it, but I just thought that Barb was so funny. Yeah. I thought it was very humorous. Especially with that that with that, that raspy <laughs> with that raspy quality to the Barb's voice. I really think that you can get a strong sense of this being uh, sort of a maternal yes. figure. Yes. One one that uh, uh, means well. And that wants I'll make you cookies! To, exactly, and that wants to make, see you succeed in the world. Yes. One like that. I think that the barb is uh, very cute. Originally conceived as a as a, sort of a, a partner to flower, but oh. then sort of evolved into its own uh, sort of shape. Here we have the flugel. Flugel! 
Not too many uh, versions of the flugel. We were pretty happy with that design right from the get-go. Uh, you can see that uh, it's always had, it's, it's always been hexapodal. It's always had those six limbs. Yeah. Um, I think one of the other things we did have, I don't know if you wanted to show it now, but one of the things, I don't know if people have really noticed it, but there are some slight differences in the art between the Donna Fire uh, game and the MSM because it is a slightly different art style. And, and yeah, two separate games. You want to make sure that those experiences are distinct one from another. Yeah. So um, let's actually hold off on those comparisons for now and take, let's, let's return if we could back to, back to gameplay. Well, would you look at this? I've been usurped. I've stolen your noodle. We have Monster Handler Mike wearing the hat. Do you feel the knowledge coursing through you? It's, Is it too much for you to too handle? Much to contain. Okay, but but, but you but you are managing it. Yes, thankfully oh. I, I've, I've you know. Okay, I've good. I just got a haircut today. Yes, exactly. As well, I was so say, now you can show. So I see. Nice I, I I see what your strategy was 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 to try go. and show everybody that uh, Monster Handler Matt. I just Matt. feel smarter with this. I must say. That's why I wear it. it you have to be you... careful though. You can't lean your head back too far because it sort of catches yeah. there. So, let's take another look at our Firehaven. So, the interesting thing about the monsters of Firehaven is, like other natural monsters... <laughs> they're so wild. Oh, right, they're so really wild. Let me reset. Let's slow them let back. Me, let me reset the warp. I was looking, going, something, <laughs> something's horribly wrong here. What have we done? That's right. All right, let's, let's reset yeah, back that's down much to, more a re, to a reasonable tempo. Okay, I was going to say Shrub a little. <laughs> shrub is still going for still it. crazy. So, just so that we have, uh, I hope I, I hope I don't get uh, too much of an eruption of, or outcry in the chat. But for the for a moment, I'm going to unbigify okay. Tring, just, just so that the other monsters don't have, get an inferiority complex uh, alongside it. No, no! <laughs> that's okay. He, so he's still quite big. Let's let's breed the monster. That was first observed by Kana in the magical fire that appeared beneath Tribal Island. I'm trying to remember. Do you exactly. know which monster that was? Uh, was that? Was that? It wasn't Glowl, was it? It was. It was Glowl. It was Glowl. So, but in order to breed a Glowl, we first have to place everyone's favorite air elemental monster, the Tweedle. Tweedle. Upon Firehaven. Very fitting that you know, Kana. And Tweed will come together to make another bird like another monster. Bird yes, you can certainly see the inspiration of both of those uh, natural elements inside. So, let's get yeah, Zipporah all the way up to level four. Zippora. There it is, ready to go. And let's hope against hope that we'll have some success breeding Pyroka and Zipora together. Here we go. I think that was, did we do it right off I the think, hop? I we think, did! Yeah, wow. Look at that. That's what happens when you have those wishing torches. That's right. You know? It speeds things up a little bit. I think that is now two um, back to back that we've. Because I think. The yes, I did. I did Repetillo. We did Repetillo right before this, and then we got a Glow. Right Perhaps we're on a lucky streak here. So I'm going to clear a little bit of space for Glow all the way down here. I'll get rid of this big tree. Which of course candelabra? on Firehaven looks more like a candelabra. Candelabra. That's right. Sorry. Yes. I don't know my candles. Clearly. I miss candle one on one. Let uh, let's plop our glowl all the way down here. This glowl. Can we bigify him? So we can truly see him. Bigify it. Alright, let's bigify. First of all, let's get Zipporah yes, up to big four. And then big. And big a five. Wow. Quite an impressive sight, the Glowl. Now that would be a big bird. That would be a big bird. That'd be like the sort of... Uh, do you ever watch span. Rescuers Down Under? Yeah. Do you ever do you remember watching that movie yeah. when you were younger? It's sort of like Marahute, the golden eagle. That big, 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 big bird. Okay. Do you remember that? I don't remember that, but... Oh, are you thinking of Rescuers oh. or the Rescuers Down Under? You know what? Uh, I, you know, I interrupt your nostalgia, I mean, he, but can we flip the glowl for the chat? Yes, we please can flip. flip the glowl. I think for I the might chat. be thinking of uh, Chip and Dale Rescue oh, Rangers. See, that's something else entirely. Which, 
one of the best theme songs of the night. Yes, that is that is a, that is a memorable one. So there's our our lovely Glowl, taking it easy there, and let's let's add, which was the star I must say of the, uh, of the our, fire of our fire, fire haven, haven reveal. Video. Yes. Matt, can we put a pot belly down? Because I have a message from the chat that says you did a great job uh, voicing pot belly, and they'd actually like to hear you do an impression of pot belly on fire haven. I think everyone loves seeing. When you do, when the magic comes alive, yeah. it's definitely let's, like let's, peeking let's, behind. Let's the have curtains. this. Let's have this pot belly, uh, just taking it easy here. Just, just. Maybe you guys could do a duet. <laughs> and this, well, this. Did tendril, we actually slow it down? It feels like it's going so fast. Nope, that's a, exactly how fast the pot belly goes at its oh regular oh right, speed. Oh right, because it's very exciting. It's going, bop, shake a bop, shake a bop, shake a bop, bop, yeah. bop. Shake a bop, shake a bop, shake a bop, bop. That was a little bit mispitched, but yeah, okay. but but uh, you want the authentic experience exactly, in game, exactly. which, which was fine tuned by by our great sound department. Our wonderful audio. Here we go. Engineers. Buy in place a pot belly. There it is. So what I was going to mention earlier is bigifying. that. Oh my goodness. Do you not like bigifying? I feel like you're an anti bigification. I'm not an anti bigifier. It does look nice. I, I, see that's why it's true. I, that's and of course, why. when you're when you're zooming out to the full island view, yeah. and you can take it all in, it of course gives you a chance to see the animation a little clearer. But I like getting down to the monsters level. Perhaps this is the monster handler in me. But I like operating like down them. here at at the close level, at the close detail here. Yeah, I don't know. It's something about. I think it is what you're saying. I like really zooming out and seeing the whole big picture, and so I love seeing those those mm -hmm. big big. Monsters. I saw a request go by in the chat to increase the volume for Repetillo, but I think it's as loud as it goes. Remember, of course, that like the other islands of uh, My Sing Monsters, we're employing 3D positional technology here so that as you uh, mouse over, or in this case, thumb or over. finger over, uh, to the correct area of Fire Haven, um, different monsters will become uh, louder and softer based on their position on the screen. So I think, we want I think Repetillo we could. to be. Uh, increase the sound if uh, let me just over here I can do it all right um, because I know we do have the mix down a bit lower I see but if we just bring it up here just a little a, bit a little bit here we'll let them you know hear. let us know if that's too loud but in we the won't meantime. keep it there the whole time just like a nice little thing so Let's, a nice a little bit. moment maybe lower the volume of the canis ah I know what's happened. We've grouped duplicate monsters oh, together so for some added volume. You know what? Let's uh, let's do a snooze. Sorry, Volca. Everyone needs a little snooze. Sorry, Infernia. They've been working hard. They have been the whole the whole time. You can Chatter, let's, do let's the shrub these. too. Doing a snooze. There we go. Inversion. He said that's perfect. 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 Inversion 2.0.0. Of my same monsters. Uh, previously, when a monster was muted, they had little Z's that appeared above their heads, or as we say here in Canada, Z's. Proper way of saying it. Well, it's certainly one way of saying it. We think it's the right way. But they previously had some Z's floating above its head, but now, more in keeping with the theme of it being musical uh, monsters, they now have rests floating oh. above their heads, I just like the way they appear that. in musical uh, in musical notation. Did, did musical, I don't know if you know this, this would be like a musical uh, uh, history thing, I guess, but I must say these rest notes look like Z's. Were they designed in sheet music to look like Z's? Have you any idea? I have no idea. That That's a very good theory. But, I wonder. Uh, that would be an interesting thing to research for later. What I wonder now, in further delving deep into this, what came first? Z's being used as like a, an annotation for like, oh, this person's sleeping, mm -hmm. or um, rest notes and music. Because I would say probably the rest notes. And people were making cave paintings. Yeah, that I'm not sure. The, the expression to catch some Z's. Like, yeah, that definitely doesn't sound old. And <laughs> no. So here we have. Bakery. So, uh, you can place structures on Firehaven just as you would any of the natural islands. You can bake things. So perhaps in order to get a little bit more food, let's let's bake a big salad. Oh, give me the big salad. Ooh, not cheap, but certainly worth it. 
We were just talking about big salads the other day during our Q&A session. Yeah, weren't we talking about what they tasted All like right. or something like that? The Unity Tree. You know what? I'm going to hold off on buying that Unity Tree. And I'm not going to tell you why. But it may have something to do with something that's coming tomorrow. So, there's always it's always valuable to watch these streams because you may get information that you can't get anywhere else. Some clues or some hints about future special offers and promotions, perhaps. Mm. So if you read between the lines of that, <laughs> that there there are very few lines to read between for this one specifically. But I'm going to hold off clear on buying the Unity Tree for now. But what I'm going to do and what I was going to mention is that unlike their Dawn of Fire counterparts, which uh, for the most part um, need have their wants mm -hmm. that they'll request yes, 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 yes. Okay, as yes, part yes. of the crafting yep, yep, system. Yep, 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 yep. These monsters, right just like other monsters in the monster world, other natural monsters, have likes. So let's take a look and see what Flower wants in order to achieve 100% happiness. <gasps> Barb? I believe you spoke to this earth. The tub fountain, that's right. The, 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 the special relationship that exists between Flower and Barb. Barb is one of the few monsters that can get that that scowl on Flower to turn upside down. But scowl on let's, Flower. Uh, that, that's right, a scowl on Flower. So let's let's get a Barb. Her, her. For, I will also say, um, speaking of tomorrow. For Flower. Uh, we will also be having a stream tomorrow. That's right. Special, we're going. We're going nonstop this week. Nonstop. Thanksgiving episode. We know that many people may be off for Thanksgiving. You know, if you, if you're with your family, that's fine. That's totally fine. But you know, we're here to celebrate. We'd with love you. for you to join us at least for part of the day as yeah. we celebrate uh, this this amazing new update for my singing monsters. It's uh, certainly a cause for celebration. And obviously, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, when you get together with family and friends you haven't seen in a very long time. This seems very thematically appropriate that we've yes. got the reunion of monsters exactly. from the surface. We've got monsters that would have been uh, presumed lost for so long. And here they are again. They can swap stories, learn new songs, and in general, have a <laughs> have great time. Laughs. Have some laughs. Long live fire. It's going to so, be a throwback Thanksgiving. That's right. Let's let's throw Barb down here beside Flower. Oh, would you look at that? Both of them achieved a little bit more happiness because... Oh, the question is being asked, do any monsters like Stog? Well, I gotta say the answer, but yes. Right. Well, let's, let's, let's take a look around. Let's see. Who does Repetillo like? Repetillo likes Kana. So, let's grab one of those sleeping Kanas. Come together. And, yes. It's all about harmony and making people happy. Exactly. Yeah. So, here we go. Repetillo a little happier with that development, but interestingly, Kana, I don't know if the feelings are reciprocated. I believe, aha, the Kana likes Flugel. So you Which, know what? Do we have a Flugel? We don't have a Flugel. Let's get Flugel in the mix. Look at that cute little egg. So, whoa, here we are again. Let's update the castle. You know what? Let's go. Whole hog. You're going all in, eh? I'm going all in. Here we are. It's spacious. We're going to get up to extravagant. Nope, sorry. Luxurious. Extravagant is the next step after that. And then finally, of course, the somewhat controversially colored Paradise Island. Or, er, sorry. Paradise Castle. Why, but, why is it controversially colored? Uh, when it was originally released, I think some users thought that it clashed a little bit with the color motifs on the other islands, but I think it looks perfect particularly here. perfect here on Firehaven. It's been waiting. That's Firehaven right. It almost looks right. like it's made of amber itself, but I don't think it is. I think it's just a prism that is colored golden because gold suggests paradise, my friend. Does it? I think so, at least in this context. So, now that we've got more beds than we could ever need. Place the flugel! And we're going to place the flugel. Of and course. Remind me, where should we be placing that flugel? Uh, it needs to be close to Kana. That's correct. And 
There we go. So all those canines were certainly happy with that I was development. Like, That's not where and who is. does Flugel like? <gasps> Rabatillo. So we've got we sort of a lot. We've there. got sort of a like triangle happening here. So what I'll do is these these canines may become a little more sad in a second, but for the time being, for the greater good. Put here. Oh, this obstacle is in the way of us achieving a, a, a true. A true harmonious sense of nature. harmony here. So let's put this little down. One grid square closer. Watch this. Here we go. Look at this. Harmony achieved. We've got several goals to collect. Let me just collect these goals. Beautiful monsters. Oh, more the bar. relic. Barb, Lugal. So we're, we're in excellent shape here. Let's see what else is going on. We actually have uh, a winner of giveaway. <gasps> we almost oh forgot. We were so engrossed we were. in Firehaven. So let's let's do that first yes. uh, bonus giveaway. This is our giveaway in celebration of our Twitch affiliate status. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay. Which, of course, if you uh, were not here at the beginning of the thing, uh, this is going to be any fire monster of your choice. And this is because we became a Twitch affiliate. That's right. Which is great. Now you can subscribe to us. And, uh, you know, we're going to have some custom emotes and some badges you can unlock. That so might be coming even later this week, you say? Yes. Maybe. Uh, the, the emotes we'll see if we're right. have, been, have been put through and are pending. So we'll see how that develops. Aha. So stay tuned. I love okay. saying that. We're going to go ahead and words. assume the numbers in this name okay. have to be pronounced as letters. Okay. But I apologize Whoa. if that's incorrect. Okay. But our winner for this giveaway is Stinky Boy. Stinky, Stinky Boy. Boy. Congratulations, Stinky Boy. You might want to check in on that stink. But uh, you don't need to worry about that because you are winning a monster, a fire monster of your choice. So just whisper to us uh, on Twitch. And let Monster Handler Sydney know which fire monster. Like this monster. There's there's Michael whispering into our microphone. Let Monster Handler Sydney know which fire monster you'd like uh, to win as part of your. What would you take? Now, I know obviously there's one that makes sense for. If if we're worried about uh, a monster world economy standpoint, I would definitely try and get myself a tring because trings are exceptionally valuable. They cost. 200 relics and they make a heck of a lot of coins but all things considered but all things equal i think i would get myself a flugel i've always liked flugel i just like the color i like the number of limbs i like the personality of flugel flugel you can definitely tell is in a state of uh excitement uh at being reunited with its fellow monsters in uh on firehaven just take a look at that dance yeah I, if we can hang on that for a second. I have a note of a flugel, but first we have the other giveaway winner. Oh, great. Oh my gosh, we're going back to back. Back to back. <laughs> All right, shock me over here. Winner. Uh, any fire element monster. Is that just on fire hate? Yes. I mean, yes. So it has to be, so to clarify, it has to be a monster that appears on fire hate. Yes. But that's, but that's sort of a given. We hope. Yeah. But it's good to clarify. So you've got eight fire monsters to choose from on Firehaven. Plenty to choose from. As your winner. As, as, as your prize. So who is our winner, Eric? The next winner is Avocado B Badado. Avocado, avocado Badado. Badado! Hey, congratulations, Avocado Badado. I like saying that name. I it's do great. It's, it's sort of a tongue twister. Hey, avocado well, Badado. Eric, tongue twister. Avocado Badado. Yeah, I guess yeah you did it. <laughs> avocado Badado. I was avocado reading badado. it, and I still missed it. Now, on the note of Flugel, if I may add an uh, animator note. Sure. So yes, yes. Which I've been commenting yes, on Flugel please. animation. Uh, regarding animating specifically monsters from Dawn of Fire, the artist said, Since these monsters are already in Dawn of Fire, I constantly had video reference of their existing animations to inform how I made them behave in my singing monsters so they would feel like the same monsters, just in a new environment. That's yes. very interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting to see these monsters uh, in sort of a, a different view than we're used to seeing them. Yes, definitely. You know, it, 
of course, traditionally they was, these monsters would be on the outer islands, and now that they're atop the head of a colossal, I didn't even it, think uh, of that. It, it really uh, recontextualizes them, and it's very exciting to see them in this new form. Yes, it, the, I, that was literally something I had not thought of until this moment of like these prior, they, they would have only been on the outer islands. That's right. Right. So it's, it's, there's probably that, some together. Are there any together that have never been together? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, uh, among the monsters that appear on Firehaven, I think other than Stog, they predominantly appear on uh, Cave and on Space Islands. So, uh, but but not all together. Yes. There are some that exist in one group. There's a little there bit of there. there's a little bit of crossover, but uh, for the most part, um, certainly this configuration of eight monsters is the first time. Yeah. That they appear all together in these adult forms. Speaking of adult forms, I think that this is a perfect opportunity to segue into an, uh, something that we wanted to take a look at, which was to review the differences between the Mycing Monsters versions and the Dawn of Fire versions of these monsters. Because there are differences, if you look closely. Cause I, I mean, you look at them uh, far out. That, that's right. There, but, but there are certainly, uh, from an art style standpoint, a couple of changes that we wanted to make when adapting these monsters to the look and feel of My Singing Monsters, the first game. So, Kena is an interesting one because uh, Kena actually was designed, I think, uh, at the same... Oops! Lose your glasses there? Yes. You don't need them. Okay. <laughs> um, Kena was designed, I think, around the same time as we knew that we were going to be putting this monster in both My Singing Monsters and Dawn of Fire. That makes so, sense. the two versions uh, look pretty much I like there's a little bit more detail, of course, on the Dawn of Fire version, but for the most part, uh, they're pretty similar. Uh, when it came time to adapt Glowl, though, you can see that a lot of the detail that's visible on the wings of Dawn of Fire Glowl, especially uh, there upon the shoulders and on the back of the neck, and through to the uh, that sort of tawny-colored plumage there on its body, um, was simplified for the version that appears in My Singing Monsters, uh, just to sort of match that style. If you review what like Tweedle looks like, for instance, you can see that um, there's big sections of Tweedle that are sort of uniform. It's understood that there are feathers there, but we just wanted to make sure that it, it's it a matched that style. And, exactly. And it seems almost like softer to me. That is the other thing that I that I always find. I would agree. I, I, I would agree with that. Especially, I really think if you look at, I think Flower is a good example of that. Like, especially look closely at his hands and up into his, his arms and shoulders, right? It's a much simpler, you know. Something notable as well about uh, Flowl uh, transforming into its My Sing Monsters version is uh, the color of like the, the petals that appear yeah. around its neck are a little bit brighter as well. I think that that was, uh, at least from an art standpoint, done so that it appears in a little bit greater contrast uh, against that sort of golden ambery color of the floor of Firehaven. And it looks much more, I think, I think it looks even closer to a sunflower. I would agree. In, in that new depiction, right? I would agree. And then, uh, finally, we have Stog. Oh! Stog's Had Stog. Stog. Can we go back to, Stog? back to Stog? Yeah, sorry, I jumped <laughs> again. <I'll> <laughs> That's back. okay. It'll be right back. There we go. And I have nothing to say about Stog. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, I think... No, I'm kidding, yeah. I'm kidding. I'm just trying to tease Monster Handler Eric there. Who's doing a great job. Who is doing a great job. Everyone, if you a appreciate the great work that Monster Handler Eric is doing, helping us uh, sort of manage all of this uh, the technical... Because this is one of our most technical streams to date because we're balancing uh, streaming our version of the game. We're looking at all of this art. So uh, it's, he's, he's no slouch. No, no. He's, he's doing a great job. So, if you could express your uh, appreciation and thanks to Monster Hunter Eric in the chat, we'd love for you to do that. So, let's take a quick look at Stog. Stog, again, uh, simplified. Some of the uh, scales have been reduced, the number of them, the contrast on them. But uh, certainly the spirit of Stog has Still been, has a been cute captured. Look, yeah, looking. take a look at that. Take a look at that guy. Very cute. All right, now we can transition, Eric. Are you sure you're ready now? I'm ready. See, unfortunately, Eric, you, you forgot. Yeah, listen, you shouldn't have given me praise so early. Just the armor goes <laughs> we were, we okay, were, we're back. Here we go. go. 
So uh, we here have Flugel, Repetillo, Barb, and Trey. Flugel, I think another really good uh, representation of what you were saying, similar to the Tweedle of the, in this case, Yes, there's, a, there's an awful lot of those sort of, that sort of feathery fur that covers the body of Flugel that got a little bit simplified from my singing monsters. Uh, especially the, the fur that appears upon its sort of uh, chest, neck mm -hmm. area. Yeah. I think, but I think in the end, it's 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 cool that we have these two different art styles, but both still it's both still so yeah. recognizable one one to the other. Repetillo, um, same sort of thing. A little bit of simplification there. You can see a little bit more texture on the Dawn of Fire version, but. But for the most part, capturing that same lizardy, armadillo-y cuteness. Yes, yes. I'd uh, say if anything, you notice it mostly uh, around, like on the, those scales up at the top and at the bottom. Yes, I agree. Let's talk about Tring for a second because uh, Tring represented a bit of a, of a challenge for us um, because of the level of detail that appears upon all of that crystalline uh, quality upon its back. Um, so when it came time to adapt that to my singing monsters, we took a couple of the dark shadows out and went with a more uniform look and feel that sort of looks like a rare Quarister. Ah, which which was, was which those keen-eyed, eagle-eyed fans uh, were able to spot that there was a little bit of a teaser for for Tring's appearance in uh, my singing monsters on the rare solo promotion for Quarister that occurred earlier this week. So you can really see in the zoom in there that we've performed the differences between those strings that we've taken a couple of the darker shadows out uh, and I think made the those those crystals look a little bit more uh, substantial, a little bit thicker, perhaps less translucent than they, they are. They definitely seem like heftier, I would say almost. Yeah, almost know? as if they've solidified over time kind of and of more course, density to them. as we mentioned earlier, they also, when Tring plays, it's nose ring mm -hmm. that they light up yeah. as well to let you know when the monster is and I playing. And Eric wants to show something with, with I think a zoom, uh, yeah, just a, just a better look at the difference between the flugel of Dawn of Fire and the flugel of My Singing Monsters. Here I, just, you, I wanted to mention that flugel's expression is me when Monster Handler Matt says he's not going to bigify my monster. <laughs> For for uh, for the Dawn of Fire version or the My Singing Monsters version, Eric, or both. Uh, the expression changes. The first is me asking to bigify the monster. Oh, I see. You're you're, no. you're bright eyed and bushy tailed and earnest, and then a little bit of a heavy lidded disappointment there on the right. It's wonderful. Now, would you guys like to hear some name ideas that we got for the critter? Oh, I would love to hear them. Would love okay. to hear them. Let me just pull up the uh, here we can the image we have. I can pull it up. Sure. You can give a talk about it. But can you? I can do it. So, for anyone who wasn't here earlier, we requested name suggestions for the Critter of Firehaven, which is based on a Honduran, Honduran white bat. Here's some suggestions we got from the chat, in no particular order. Waxwing. Oh, very cute. I like that a lot. Vampire bat. Yeah, that's oh, definitely in keeping with the, uh, the fire theme. Marshbellow. Oh, oh very cute. Very cute. S'mores, which I think is one of my favorites. Yes. Oh, this one's very good. Hundurat. Oh, that is good. A reference a to... Hundurat. Obviously, it's inspiration. Uh, we also have Luminalo. Oh, that one's very cute. That's Luminalo almost seems like a name that could have been for Lao itself. Yes. Uh, Flambat. Flambat. That reminds me of Flambe. Uh, now I'm hungry. <laughs> in the shop, we have a very simple... Batty. 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 Hey, a classic. Batty the Batty. Well, we're approaching the end of our Firehaven uh, party today. Thank you so much for joining us. I think we've got a really strong start here on our Firehaven. Obviously, that loan from the First Bank of the very Monster helpful. World was very helpful and allowed us to show off some of the amazing work that our animators and their artists have done bringing these monsters to life. Can we actually just pull one more monster out? Pull one more out? Okay, and then that'll be I'd it. I'd really love to see a stog, and I think the rest of the child. All right. Who could say no to the stog, right? Yes. A true cutie. For all the loyal viewers out there who have been with us, thank you very much. This stog goes out to you. 
Let's see what, what, what nickname this dog is going to have. And please pick a fight. All right, I'll pick a fight. If there, was, if there was any monster des deserving bigification. Uh, bigification. Yeah. It's this dog. So, Bigify that dog! Here's this dog. He's hidden. He's hidden. He's but like, not Ooh. for long, but not for long. This Zinap. Zinap. This dog. Oh, you're giving him full food, eh? I'm going to get as far up as I can, up to level 15, and then watch what happens when we bigify this dog. There we oh. go. What a cute. Making a very prominent uh, debut here on Fire. And look at that waveform along the side and the light up quality of its, its plates. Ah, oh, too cute to handle. All right, everyone. I think that that's uh, I think that that's our show. Yes, so we will be back tomorrow, like we said, for a special episode. Not gonna be the normal five o'clock. Uh, I believe we are planning to go at 2 p.m. Um, if you can join us, that's okay. We would love to have you, obviously. Uh, but uh, like we do with these shows, we will be posting them afterwards. And at any time on Twitch, you can go back and view the archive because they'll be there for your viewing. For your viewing pleasure. Exactly. All right. So as Michael mentioned, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in and sharing this awesome experience for us. We're so excited to share this with you, and we hope that you enjoy the new update. Uh, continue to send us the fan art that, that inspires you and that uh, you create yourself. Uh, all sorts of your creative ideas. We're always interested. We'd also be interested in hearing your feedback about some of the new features, always. like the map and stuff like that. So please send that to us. We're always listening, and we love uh, the devotion and the interest that the community takes in my singing monsters. So I think that yep. that's about it. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. And without much further ado, happy, happy monstering. monstering. Bye, everybody.